Just to be real, about 80% of the time my Range Rover sits in the garage. I use it to drive around town for short distances, take the dog to the beach, and occasionally I'll take it off-road. Unfortunately though, when I do, it ends up lighting up the dash like a Christmas tree, so it's not always the most comfortable experience. So when the chance came to go to Land Rover Owners Day Biltmore a few weeks ago, I decided it was an opportunity I couldn't pass up. And as great as it was for me, I can understand from an objective standpoint how some people may think it just wouldn't be worth it. To just do the Owners Day experience, it came out to $325 which I still think is an incredible value for all the day had to offer. However, you also had the option of adding the night drive in for another $250, which is something I'll definitely be doing next time if offered. I stand by what I said in the Owner's Day video, that there's not too much value that you can get out of something for $325, especially when you consider everything that's included in Owner's Day. And in case you missed the video, here's what happened. The day started with everyone meeting at the group sales office before convoying off to eat breakfast and as as well as a presentation about everything we were going to be doing for the day, as well as talking about all of the terms that we would be experiencing. If you know anything about off-road driving, listening to this presentation may sound like it would be extremely boring. However, they actually did a really good job at making even some of the most basic boring stuff actually seem entertaining. After breakfast, we split up into three separate groups of about 11 people and finally went out onto the trails where we'd spend the next few hours driving through different terrain and small obstacles. But the most important thing to remember about this is that the trails they take you out on are really very beginner, but that's the way they're designed. And for me, that's perfectly fine because it was more of a relaxing drive off-road. It's slow paced, but it gives you the opportunity to learn about the different aspects of off-road driving rather than just trying to figure it out all at once. This is what's most important about people learning and understanding the different abilities of their Land Rover. To be honest, most of the day was spent waiting around and watching other vehicles tackle the obstacles off-road before you would continue on to the next point. After tackling one of the obstacles on your own, you would eventually pull up and stop and wait for for everyone else to finish it. So if you go into it expecting that you'll be pushing your vehicle as well as flying through the off-road trails, you're going to be sorely disappointed. After all, the experience is built with novice drivers in mind. It's clear from the start that the trails were designed to be forgiving towards people who had no idea what they were doing probably why I enjoyed it so much. And while I have to admit, I wish the trails had been a bit more challenging looking back, in the moment it really didn't phase me at all. While we were there, we actually spent most of our time talking with other owners, sharing experiences and Land Rover stories, and really getting a better feel for what the Land Rover community as a whole is like. The value of Owner's Day really comes down to the perception you have and the mindset you have when going into it. If you think for a minute that you're going to be pushing your vehicle to its limits and climbing the most difficult off-road trails, you're going to be extremely dis disappointed. The slow pace and design of the trails will become extremely underwhelming as you realize most of the day you're watching other people drive their Range Rover or Land Rover through mud for the first time ever. While there are some more difficult parts that you have to think a little bit more to get through, you can easily tell that the design of the trail is focused for beginners, which I think is a good thing. This opens people up to a completely new way of using their Land Rover that they may not have understood before. Sure, the trails at the Biltmore Estate may be much less challenging than something even like Hurricane Creek, but at the end of the day, it was a good opportunity for people to come in and get to experience the different aspects of their Land Rover. But that also opens it up to looking at it in a new perspective. To me, the value of Owner's Day didn't come from pushing a vehicle to its limits on an off-road trail. It came with the entire day of being with people who love their Land Rovers, and at that point, it was really something different than just driving your car off-road. It allowed you to meet new people and share different experiences you've had with your Land Rover. The trails were a small fraction of the entire experience of Owner's Day. If all you want to do is drive your Range Rover off-road and really keep to yourself, Owner's Day is probably not going to be as enjoyable for you as it was for me. However, if you're open to Owner's Day becoming what it really is all about, you're going to have a fantastic time. Personally, I prefer the afternoon of off-road driving that's a bit more relaxed, knowing that there are instructors around who know the trails and can get everyone through the trails pretty easily. That alone took a lot of the stress away of being pretty much completely new to off-road driving minus one other time. The trails were challenging enough to make the experience it's interesting, but it's not a place where you're going to get stuck and have no help getting out, or even worse, breaking something very expensive. The value of Owner's Day really comes with the mindset that you go into it with, just like everything else. If you go into it with the mindset of having fun and meeting people and experiencing and sharing stories about your Land Rover, you're going to have a fantastic time as you drive through the trails off-road. However, if you go into it with the mindset that you're going to be tackling difficult off-road challenges, 
then you're going to be disappointed. Personally, I'm extremely excited to go back, hear more stories, talk with more other owners, and see where the day takes us.